You know, I know it's, I, I always sometimes coach uh, when I ask, when I'm asked like, what's it like to work for the commissioner, Roger Goodell? What's it like to work for your boss? It's, you know, you, 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 you're always wonder if the answer is, you know, straightforward. People wonder, you know, like, am I really telling the truth? Who, who's going to tell the truth about their boss? So on and so forth. But what is it like coaching for a hedge fund manager? What's that like? Oh, I, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. I, I you know, I, I, I love working for Dave, Tep, David Tepper, like, um, the, the the questions he asks, um, you know, like like I, he he leaves the football to me and Scott, you know, um, but he he asks unbelievable questions because he sees the world in such a special way, and so um, like what I, you got a good example of a uh, good, what do you got from him? I can't even think of something off the top of my head. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, I just think he's always you know he's always he's always saying why or have you thought of this and anything from like you know just just the way that we travel to everything. I mean, he's just got such a unique eye and a unique way of seeing things. And to me, that's so valuable. Like, I think when you put a staff together, like if everyone thinks the same, then then really no one's thinking. And so um, to have someone on the outside that 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 is constantly asking questions and good questions and coming up with ideas um, – I think it's I think it's I think it's really important. And at the same time, this is he, he's a he's a tremendous person. I mean, this is a guy that like this is a guy that like, you know, talks to my son, you know, before the Baylor game. And, you know, wants to, you know, I mean, this is a guy that knows my kids names. This is a guy that, you know, calls players on the team when things happen. This is a guy that, you know, my assistant just had a baby yesterday. And, you know, Mr. Tepper's one of the first pe- people to reach out to him. I mean, he he cares a lot about the people in the organization, so I I'm I'm really blessed and and certainly have a great owner. I love what you just said because uh, it kind of sums up a lot here. When when everybody's thinking the same, no one's really thinking. What did you mean by that? I think I know what you mean by that, but um, wh- yeah, I mean, what does that mean? Well, I just think that you know. Um, you can have a lot of group think, especially in the NFL where everyone's kind of afraid every year, hey, am I going to lose my job? <laughs> right. you know, what do I got to do to keep my job? Hey, just keep, you know, keep things simple. Like, you know, uh, Bill Parcells, you know, used to believe, you know, would talk about how, how conflict is needed. And, you know, really at the end of the day, like, I, I want to ha- be a part of a staff where we're not afraid to go in a room and argue and sometimes loudly um, with different ideas and different opinions. And we never say to ourselves, well, that's the way we've always done it. You know, we're always trying to do something better and new and unique. <clears throat> I think when you have that, A, everyone feels like they have a voice, but B, you have a chance to be innovative. You have a chance to be on the cutting edge because you're not just doing what everyone else does. And so um, we want people who speak their mind. And, and I think what's really cool about the Carolina Panthers is – uh, there, there's no, you know, we don't compartmentalize that. You know, uh, I expect Scott Federer to walk into me and say, hey, why are we playing so-and-so there? Um, and just like I want him to hear my opinion about personnel. And, and you know, we don't want to say, hey, everyone just stick to your area. We want to be a place where we talk and communicate and, and argue. And at the end of the day, when we make a decision, man, we're, we're, we're rocking with it. So if you don't mind conflict, it's okay if J.C. Horn brings a cell phone? On the field, we're good with that. Then, <laughs> is that good? I got to tell you now, this is this is true. Uh, when I went to the pro day, yeah, I was pulling up to park, yeah. and I saw Joe Horn walk, walking in the parking lot, and I kind of turned into like <laughs> seventeen, sixteen year old Matt Rule. Like I, I like stopped the car in the middle of the parking lot and got out and just said. Mr. Horn, my name's Matt Rule. I'm the head coach of the Panthers. It's really just kind of such an honor to meet you, and and uh, because like he's someone I I looked up to and respected, and as a player, and um, now he's just a dad, which is awesome. But uh, I, I I definitely fanned out for a minute. Yeah. Plus, there's no flip phones anymore, too. Right? <laughs> it's all That's smartphones right. now. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 